लास्ट क्वेश्चन आचार्य जी अ लॉर्ड ऑफ आवर इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग ऑडियंस वॉन्ट्स टू नो दैट टमोरो इज द फेस्टिवल ऑफ लाइट्स सो वट शुड बी द राइट वे ऑफ सेलिब्रेटिंग दिवाली इट्स टू लेट ना हो इट्स टू लेट इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक आस्किंग दैट टुमोरो इज द यूपीएससी एग्जाम वॉट इज द राइट वे ऑफ प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर इट इट्स एक्चुअली वर्स इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक आस्किंग टुमोरो द यूपीएससी रिजल्ट शुड बी डिक्लेयर्ड वॉट इज द राइट वे टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द एग्जाम a festival is not a free for all what do we think shri ram is an exception shri ram is a distinction he is a rarity he is worshiped because he is special if he is special how does every a b c d get the right to even utter his name let alone celebrate his festival you need to earn the rights to even utter ram there has to be a certain qualification yogyata patrata arhata that's how the scriptures call it otherwise it is just hypocrisy and cheap entertainment in the name of festival i say if for 364 days you have really lived up to ram only then must you honestly celebrate the festival of ramness how is it that for 364 days your life really had nothing to do with shri ram and on the 365 fifth day you jump up and join in the noisy bandwagon the chorus of the hooligans just think if ram were there in a bodily shape in his mortal body and were he to see you celebrating his festival what would he say what would he say he will call you you come here come here you just did something taking my name hello 
ऑल दिस तमाशा इज इन माई नेम ही वुड बी एंगर्ड ही वुड से यू डू वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डू बट वाई आर यू डूइंग इट इन माई नेम योर लाइफ हैज नो रिलेशन टू माइन देर इज नो सेमनेस बिटवीन यू एंड मी You do not even love me at all, let alone worship me. Had you loved me, you couldn't have lived your life the way you do. Actually, you stand in firm opposition to me, Ram would say. If I look at the three sixty-four days of your life. you stand really in firm opposition to me and now on this 365th day what a pretense you are making i am the one who never cared for any worldly thing i just pushed aside the biggest worldly thing that one can have an entire empire it was there for me to take it i could have as well told raja dashrath father not done i deserve the crown and the entire country wants me to be the king and dashrath would have consented he would have said fine sir but the moment my father said leave the throne and not merely leave the throne be gone into the jungles for 14 years i said fine that's the kind of person i was did i care for the comforts of the palace did i care for power and pelf did i care for the so called worldly material good life i didn't and look at yourself even in the name of celebrating my festival all you do is shop shop and shop in fact ram's festival has become the festival of shopping shoppers and shopkeepers ram who never had anything to do with shops ram who was never a buyer or a seller or a consumer shri ram who stands for that which can neither be bought nor be sold his festival has been turned into an orgy of sales and discounts how would he feel were he to reappear in a bodily form today just see i have said before and i am repeating diwali for most people must be a festival of austerity of repentance price chit we must on this day offer our prayers to shri ram and say we are very sorry o holy one we are extremely sorry we couldn't live 
by your life, your message, your teachings, we are very sorry. We will observe this day as a day of repentance. We do not deserve to celebrate. What is there to celebrate in our life? Festival of lights befits those who have light, first of all, in their lives. If our lives are full of darkness, what right do we have to light the candles and the diyas? And the Chinese bulbs? Every festival is like an examination day. Yes, certain people do have all the rights to celebrate on an examination day. But who will be those people? Who have prepared well for those exams. Who have done justice to their preparation throughout the year. They are the ones who have the right to celebrate on that day. Others, why are they celebrating? First of all, you are dishonest enough to not to do justice to the preparations. You miserably failed the exam and now you are stupid enough to celebrate your failure. No, you are not stupid, you are wicked. By celebrating, you are trying to convince yourself that you have actually passed the exam. Look at the perverse logic. Look at the inversion. Those who clear the exam celebrate. So we will celebrate and convince ourselves that we have cleared the exam. That's awesome. Great are the depths of depravity possible to us. You are given an entire year to prepare for Diwali. Aren't you? What does it mean to prepare for Diwali? To clean your house or to clean your life? Did we clean up our lives? And an entire year was available. Did we prepare for the festival? We didn't. And when the festival has arrived, we want to show as if we really deserve it. We don't deserve it. Excellence has always been a rarity. And Sri Ramchandra is the epitome of excellence. Without bringing that excellence into our lives, what is this circus that we create? So you are asking me how to celebrate Diwali, I will say, now start preparing for the next one. This one you have already lost. I don't want to console you. This Diwali is totally lost on 99% people who will be celebrating it. But there still is time. Prepare for the next Diwali. Live your life just as Ram lived his life. 
and then you will have the right to celebrate Diwali. What is it that Sri Ram stands for? He stands for detachment. He stands for fearlessness. He stands for compassion. He stands for dharm. Is there dharm really in your life? And by dharm, I do not mean a creed or a cult or observation of certain rituals or the name written against the religion column in your various identification cards. No, that is not dharm. Dharm means doing that which you must do. Must do. That's what Sri Ram stands for. He does what he must do. Do you do what you must do? Is your touch compassionate enough to turn stone into life? His was. Bring some compassion into your life and then say that you want to celebrate Diwali. You have one year. Rather, one year and one day. Tomorrow is Diwali. We are talking of the next Diwali. Have you ever just let it sink into you what it means to spend 14 years in the wilderness and try to wrap your head around the idea. You are the crown prince, Yuvraj. And you have been dispatched to the damn forest. How does that even sound? It sounds unacceptable to us. He lived it. And he lived it with unequaled grace. Look at his poise. Not once did he complain. In fact, he used these 14 years to the maximum. And he fought the most powerful force of his times. And who was he? Somebody ostracized from his kingdom. Somebody serving a sentence almost. And he's fighting Dashanan, the one who is said to have incarcerated even the various gods and goddesses in his prison cells. That Dashanan was fought almost empty-handed by one Shri Ram. That's my Ram. One needs to have at least one percent of him in oneself in order to worship him, no? At least one percent. What's one percent of fourteen years? Quick. Hmm? Yes, point one four years, but what does that mean? How many days? Hmm? Around 50 days. 51 to be precise. Hmm? 
would you spend 51 days just because you are randomly told to that to on the eve of your coronation you are about to rise to the throne and somebody tells you no you are dispatched to the amazon 51 days no gadgets nothing at least be 1% of shri ramchandra i'm not asking you to try it out i just want you to see how unacceptable even the idea is right our security is our comforts rebel against the very thought he lived it out and he lived it out in the most humane just and compassionate way possible without ever cribbing and he ended those 14 years bringing down the mightiest empire of his times that's my superhero and you want to reduce diwali to a festival of rasgulla rabadi ha huh? son papdi hmm kalakand did ramchandra enjoy all these things why the hell are you enjoying all these things on his day because we are very very small and little and petty people who want just an excuse to further their dirty instincts of consumption we just want to consume on some pretext something so diwali becomes just another occasion to oh it's an explosion of consumption so next diwali let's emerge as deserving celebrants let's assert our right next diwali and then you will find that the festival has really invoked another dimension within you then that night will be special as we are currently and as we celebrate currently diwali is come and go and nothing changes does anything really change does anything really change diwali after diwali we remain the same persons don't we now prepare this entire year for that one next diwali and see how that one diwali can do what the last 40 diwalis have not been able to do and then shri ram will smile he will say yes now you have celebrated mm-hmm.